In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do one of those cool split screens that you see a lot on commercials, music videos, and a lot of cinematic videos out there. So stay tuned. I'm just a normal person with no video editing background who wanted to start making YouTube videos and maybe cool transitions and effects. I don't really plan on being a professional video editor, so I was looking for a free, easy to learn video editing software. Luckily, I stumbled on Shotcut, a free open source video editing program that can do many of the tricks you can do on more enterprise video editors like Adobe Premiere or DaVinci Resolve, but with a much simpler and leaner interface, thus dramatically shortening the learning curve. It just takes using your imagination. So let's learn together. Today's tutorial will be done on Shotcut version 21.05.18. So this one should be relatively easy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start out with three videos that I've already dragged into my playlist. So this is the first video. Let's just play it real quick. This is the second video. And this is the third video. So what I want to do is I want to play all three videos at the same time, but shown via split screen. So in order to do that, first I need to drag all three videos into the timeline. So I'm going to drag the first video into the timeline and it's going to create a track. Now what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to add two additional tracks stacked on top of each other. So all you have to do is right click, track operations, add video track, or the shortcut is control I. So I'll add another one and then I'm going to go control I to add a third one. So the first video I added is on the bottom track. The second video I'm going to drag into the middle track. And then the third video I'm going to drag to the very top track. And just to make my desktop a little neater, what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim all of them so that they are all the same lengths. I'm going to delete all the excess. And so we're going to end up with the three videos on top of each other. Naturally, because they're stacked in layers, all you're going to see is the video that's at the very topmost of the layer because that's the one that's covering up the other two in the bottom. And so because there really isn't a reason to show the two bottom ones, I'm just going to turn it off right now and just focus on this top layer here. So again, I'm going to go into this second layer. I'm going to click this little eye or hide icon. And then the same, same thing on this third one here. And I'm going to click the eye icon. So now all our focus is going to be on this top video, which is this one. Now let's create our first split screen. To do that, while the track is selected, all you have to do is go to filters, click the plus symbol, and type mask, simple shape. And right now you're not seeing anything because the layers are invisible at the bottom. So actually I'm going to activate the second one here, just so you can see what it did. And so Right now, by default, this is what Mask Simple Shape is doing. And so we're going to fix that. To make our lives a little easier, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to add guides so that we know exactly where the mask begins and ends. And the easiest way to do that is to use one of my favorite tools, which is the, uh, the grids icon right here, as you can see. Um, I'm going to select that. But I'm going to go into the drop down and I'm going to click three by three, which is really convenient because what we're trying to do is we're actually trying to split this screen into three equal sizes. So now that we have that guide, what I want to do is I want to manipulate the mask so that this 
video right here is actually on this first panel right there. So the first thing I would do is I would go into softness and I would take the softness all the way to zero because I don't, I don't want that blurry edge. I actually want a hard edge. So we want that to be zero. The second thing is I want to go into the horizontal measurement and I want to move it all the way to the very left and kind of center it as close as possible, probably right there. Now let's work with the height. So I want this to be touching the very edge at the very top and I want this to expand all the way to the very bottom. So we're actually going to pull the height and just drag it all the way to 100%. Actually, you didn't even need to do it 100%, probably 50% is, is probably the, the setting that tells it go all the way to the very edge, which is fine right there. And now we're going to manipulate the width. And all I want it to do is expand so that it hits the little guidelines that we created. And as you can see, as we get a little closer, we can tell that this, this part right here is actually not centered because you can see it's a lot skinnier on the left side than it is on the right side. So I'm actually going to move uh, the, uh, the horizontal a little bit to kind of get it as center or as close to center, just eyeballing it. Um, as I get closer to the edge, instead of me moving the bars left and right, what I'm doing is I'm using the scroller on the mouse so that I can be more exact in my measurement so that it'll, it'll actually move by 0.01%, which is probably right there, uh, is as close to center as we can get that thing. And then I'm going to go back into the width measurement, which is right here. And you can see this measurement move, even though I'm not moving the mouse because I'm actually manipulating it again using the scroller on the mouse just to get a little bit more fine tuned movement and fine tuned increase or decrease in, in measurements. And so that's about it, I think. And if I deactivate the guides here and I start playing, you can see at this point, oh, I can kind of see a little edge right there. So I'm going to go back into the width and kind of just increase there right there. Increase it a little bit. And then once again, at this point with the current setting, we have two videos playing at the same time that split. So now what we want to do is we want to add the third split screen. This, this middle one is already taking up, taking up this middle panel right here. So let's work on the rightmost panel. And so while this video is selected, again, we go into filters, we click the plus button, and then again, we, we choose mask, simple shape. And we're basically going to do the exact same thing we did to this one here. Um, but this time around, again, let, let's activate this here so that the bottom shows through. Again, we're going to do the exact same thing we did. Let's reselect the middle track. Uh, let's drop the softness down all the way to zero. Let's get the height up to 50% so that it spans to the top and the bottom. And then we're going to use the horizontal measurement here. And we're going to try to move it all the way to the right and try to center it in that rightmost panel as close as we can eyeballing it. I think that's pretty close. And then we go into this measurement here, which is the width. We then expand the width so that it expands across as close. See, now I need to use the scroller mouse to fine tune. Oh, I think it went past the guide there. 
Let's see. Okay, let's turn off the guide here. Right there. So now you have three. It's going a little slow. So let's uh, let's drop the preview scaling to about 720p and see if that's better because you have three videos playing at the same time here. Okay, let's uh, preview scale to 540. Right there. And that, folks, is how you do a split screen, split in three ways. Now, you, you don't just need to end here. Um, if you want to make this a little bit more advanced, what you can do is you can go back to the topmost video here. And instead of this being split perfectly upright, what you can do is you can change the angle because I've seen some of those split screens where it's actually a diagonal split screen. So if if you want a diagonal version of what you're seeing right now, all you have to do is go back into the topmost and then luckily in the mask simple shape filter, there's also a measurement uh, there's also a kind of a, a lever for rotation. And so we can actually rotate this a little bit. I'm just going to bring back the guide, even though that's not really going to help us much. But um, say I want to rotate it this much, which based on the measurement we're seeing right now, it is negative 14.6 degrees. So all I need to do is rotate this panel by negative four or the mask by negative 14.6 degrees and then I go into the second one and do the exact same measurement. You need to make sure that they're equal so that it looks right. So right now we rotated it by 14.6 and you can see that the the top and the bottom doesn't extend to the very edge so now we can go into the height measurement and extend it all the way. I might as well extend it to 100%. You're not going to see anything past that anyway. Um, and then why don't we then move, uh, move it a little bit to the left here. So that's using the vertical measurement. And so we'll move it a little bit to the left. Let's say right, like I'm looking at this intersection right here and that's going to be, that's what I was using as a guide. Um, and then we need this panel now to be a little bit wider so that this little thing that's showing through is covered up. And so now we go back into the width measurement and we make this a little wider again. Um, and uh, let's bring it in a little bit more. And then we're going to fine tune it a little bit. And again, um, we can see that this thing is extending past this little intersection here. Uh, so what I can do is I can then go into the vertical and move that as close as I can do it with my mouse, which is about right there. And so now you have one diagonal panel. So now we're going to do the exact same thing. I'm just going to remember that this was negative 14.6. Go back into this clip right here, go back to mass simple shape, immediately go into the rotation and I'm just going to type negative 14.6 to kind of to give it that same angle. And again, you can see here the top and the bottom is not extending to the very edge. So we go into the height measurement and just drag it all the way to 100. Um, and then we're going to go into the width so that it ex this edge here extends all the way to here. And then this edge here covers up this edge right there. So let's go into width and make it a little wider. Now that it's extended, everything is covered up. I need to move this edge here. So all we need to do is go into the vertical measurement and just drag it until 
this is what I'm targeting, this intersection here, this crosshair here. Uh, that's why these guides are amazing because um, it's a lot easier to figure out your threshold and your measurements. And so right there. And then I'm just going to toggle off the, the grids icon. And now you have a split screen that is diagonal. And you see, you actually see this in some of the cinematic travel videos. And so this is what it ends up being. And that's about it. Really simple, really fun, a cool way to add dimension to the videos that you're creating. Um, let me know if you have any questions. I'd love to see how you implement this tip. But that's it. Really simple. Hope you like it. Let me know in the comments. And if there's any other tutorials you'd like to see, please let me know. Of course, I would always love your subscription. And if you can like this video, it helps the algorithm. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Thank you. I just wanted to remind you that if you haven't yet, go visit my channel. I'm sure you'll find tons of shortcut related videos. And don't forget to subscribe so that you know when I drop a new shortcut related tutorial. Every video on my channel was done on shortcut. So aside from examples of what shortcut can do, you can also visit my playlist of tips and tutorials all geared toward the beginner. Visit my Shotcut Tips and Tricks playlist and learn all the tips and tricks I've learned during my journey toward video editing. So once again, please subscribe and I'll see you next time.